Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly different uh, video today. Uh, today we are going to be accuracy testing this, the Merkel K3. Um, it's chambered in 308, um, very short 20 inch barrel, no moderator on it, fitted with a, an 8x56 uh, Swarovski um, fixed scope on the top. Um, we sighted it in earlier this week uh, and since then it's been completely dismantled uh, including taking the scope off. It's been thoroughly cleaned and it's then all been put back together. So what we're going to do today is now that it's all been put back together, put a couple of shots to it, see if it has returned to zero. It's got to return to zero Merkel mounts on it, so in theory it should be absolutely bang on. Uh, we're just going to verify that. We're then going to shoot a couple of different groups of, of ammunition with it. So we're going to try some RWS 165 grain, some 155 grain and some 130 grain copper stuff. So we're going to see how it gets on. So hopefully um, you guys will enjoy the video. So there is our target at 100 meters. There are four relatively neatly drawn circles on it. We're back here and we're going to shoot resting uh, off the bonnet of this car. So that's first uh, three shot group uh, put on the target um, and that's the one without having touched the rifle so it's actually all been put back together haven't adjusted the scope um, etc we've got a small crosswind um, going left to right um, so we'll see see if that's had an impact on target at 100 meters um, but through the scope looks as though it's pretty much bang on and looks like a nice tight group we'll go and have a look There's the first group, three shots, all aiming for, well, aiming for roughly a centre here, so it's maybe shifted a, a centimetre high, or that could just be shooter error, but that's three shots all through the same hole. Um, so very, very pleased with that. We're now going to try switching out and looking at some 165 grain uh, bullets, and then also some 130 grain copper TTSX bullets. So very pleased with how that first uh, three shot group went. We're now going to move on to some 165 grain uh, RWS. Um, bullets never used these before um, possibly a bit heavy for, for what we're we're doing out here um, but let's see how they go so this new bottom group is the 165 grain uh, RWS ammunition um, and took the mounts off in between this group and this group and put them back on again. Uh, we're now going to shoot final target up here um, with some 130 grain copper um, bullets and again going to take the mount off, give the gun a clean as well just to really kind of make this test fair uh, and then we'll give it another go. Thanks dog. So just cleaned and dismantled um, the K3, put it all back together um, and about to shoot some 130 grain uh, Barnes TTSX um, home loaded ammunition through it. Um, so let's see how this goes. Here we have the final group here, which is the 130 grain Barnes TTSX um, ammunition. Um, what I would say is all groups um, under an inch, just about, I would say. This one's probably the biggest, biggest group. Um, and what I would also say is I'm probably not giving it a huge amount of time, the rifle a huge amount of time to cool down um, in between each shot. So I'm sure they could be pulled in a bit tighter if, if I gave it that bit more time. Uh, none of these groups, uh, sorry, none of these uh, groups of ammunition um, have been sort of tailored to this rifle. They're all what I normally use in a in a lo slightly longer barrel, slightly different twist rate uh, Tika. So um, again, I'm sure with a bit of playing around with um, some uh, load development, we can get those a bit tighter. Um, amazed at this one. Um, so obviously prefers slightly 
slightly lighter ammunition so these were the 165 grain these were 155 and that was 130 um these might be going a bit too quick for it um and these are they're pretty thumpy to shoot to be honest so i'm not sure i particularly um enjoy shooting those i think it'd probably be be some of these in the in the future so final thoughts and conclusions on the k3 so far um overall really really impressed with that actually um i mean not to make excuses for it um it's got no moderator on the on the end of it so it kicks a hell of a lot um every between each shot because you are breaking it open and you've, you've essentially got to break your 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 head position on the stock chuck another bullet in load it back up um all the rest of it and because of all that recoil you're not getting the same kind of well the same shooting position each each time you you get behind it and that's not really what these these rifles are designed for they're not sort of bench rest uh, target rifles um and what i would say they are is, is lightweight traveling hunting rifles and that's really what i've what i've got this gun for is that i can take it apart chuck it in a case go somewhere reassemble it all and i've got a gun ready to shoot go out hunting with and it doesn't look as conspicuous as a as a rifle in a in a normal sort of gun slip i mean that that said still pretty happy um well very happy with with these groups i mean that that's a three shot group with 155 grain um ammunition that's 165 grain ammunition and that's 135 grain copper bullets i mean they're, they're that's a much higher higher group than where i was aiming because of the velocity difference so these are going 2600 those 2700 and these 2900 so you can see there is that little bit of a shift upwards and again as, as i said earlier on the video wasn't giving the gun a huge amount of time to cool down in between in between all of these uh groups i mean in between each one i've completely dismantled the rifle cleaned it and put it back together so which was just for my own um sanity really to make sure that it, it was capable of doing that so when i do take it traveling do do dismantle and put it back together i know when i point it there it's, it's going to hit the sort of vital zone um so really really happy with it it's a really really beautiful rifle um and i'm sure you'll you'll see more uh, of it in future videos as well so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. It'd be great to know if you've got one of these as well, what your experiences are, um, what sort of group sizes you find with it, what ammunition does and doesn't work, etc. Um, I hope to see you on the next one.